Annenberg Media. Additional funding is provided by the Stratford Foundation, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, George I. Alden Trust, and Alfred E. Chase Charity Foundation. Christmas bonus. Yes. Yeah, what did we get this year? Uh, same as last year. Two seats to the opera. Oh, sure likes his opera, huh? Hey, you did well this year. Grand tier row A. Just what I needed. Mm hmm. For a special friend. The woman in the photo? Yep. And right now, she could use a little tender, loving care. Better be careful, my friend. People are going to start thinking you're in love. Hey, rumors like that can ruin a man's reputation. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. you get settled. <sighs> For a while, I didn't know if I'd ever be back. I understand. You must miss your father terribly. Yes, I do. How's your uncle? Truthfully, not so good. I'm sorry. What's wrong? He's not happy at the nursing home? Edward keeps asking to come home. It breaks my heart. I can't take care of him anymore. I did what I thought was best. You did the right thing. It's sad, though. Well, glad to have you back. We've all missed you. I've missed my life here. And a lot of schoolwork. I hope I can make it up. Take it one step at a time. Oh, the first step was to call my advisor. Would you like some tea? Yeah. Thomas here. Hello. This is Rebecca Casey. Oh, Rebecca, how are you? Pretty well. I just got back. Your father was sick, wasn't he? How's he doing? He passed away. I'm very sorry to hear that. Thank you. Uh, the reason I'm calling is that I would like to get together and talk about my courses. Is there any chance we could meet today or tomorrow? I'm planning to be in my office late today. Why don't you come by, say, around 5 o'clock? I'll be there. See you then. Here's your tea. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Did you reach the college? Mm -hmm. I'm going to meet my advisor today at 5 o'clock. I'll see what he says. I've missed so many classes. Well, don't worry about that right now. Things have a way of working out. You're right. Did you hear anything from Emma Washington? No. I called her as you asked me to. She was very sorry to hear about your father. I should probably give her a call, too. See if I still have a job. Your father looks so happy here. You know, Nancy, I found out what the problem was between my dad and Uncle Brendan. Why they didn't talk for so many years. Oh? Uncle Brendan told me about my mom. That they were both in love with her. And that's why your father and I never got along. I always told your mother that Brendan was the man for her. 
Your father got very angry at me when he found that out. But your mother had a mind of her own. She went ahead and married Patrick anyway. That's when they stopped talking. They had a chance to talk before Dad... Good. They made peace. I was so sorry to hear about your dad. Thanks. How are things going here? It's frantic as usual. Listen, um, I hope you understand. You know, I had to find someone for your old job. Oh. I didn't know whether you were coming back, and uh, we're so short-handed. I, 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 I had to replace you. I hope you will understand. I understand. There might be an opening next semester, right after the new year. Please, keep me in mind. You know I will. You're so great with children. Um, are you going back to college? I hope to. I have a meeting with my advisor at 5 o'clock today. I have so much catching up to do. You'll do just fine. Listen, are you still giving guitar lessons? I sure am. Good. I'll put a notice on the bulletin board. Thanks. Here we go. Now pass back forth. Back up, you guys. Back up. Come on. All right. That's it. Good job. Good job. Becca? Kick it, kick it. Are you really here? I don't believe it. I'm here. Kick it. I'm really here. Kick it. Rebecca is back in San Francisco. She left the farm. She left Kevin behind. And she's really tired. Rebecca, is that you? Yes, it's me. Are you all right? I'm okay. I'm just exhausted, that's all. Rebecca is talking to Nancy Shaw, uh, who was uh, well acquainted with the situation between her mother and the two uh, brothers, Patrick Casey and Brandon Casey. You know, Nancy, I found out what the problem was between my dad and Uncle Brendan, why they didn't talk for so many years. Oh? Uncle Brendan told me about my mom, that they were both in love with her. And that's why your father and I never got along. They were both in love with the same uh, woman. When Rebecca comes back to San Francisco, she's trying to catch up with her, with her studies. I've missed so many classes. Well, don't worry about that right now. Things have a way of working out. She finds Alex and Ramon. I think Ramon is happy to see Rebecca. Rebecca? Kick it, kick it! Are you really here? I don't believe it. I'm here. Kick it! I'm really here. Rebecca goes to the after-school program to find out if she has a job. She doesn't. She had to be replaced. How are things going here? It's frantic as usual. Listen, um, I hope you understand. You know, I had to find someone for your old job. Oh. She's going through uh, the death of her father, uh, which is a loss to her. And then she has to go through the emotional stress of a school. Well, Rebecca... He's desperate. I would have felt miserable. Annenberg Media.